Hey guys, this is Andy Tran with the Inner Bark Outdoors channel, at least my hands anyway. And uh, today I wanna to do an unboxing of a new product that got sent to me by the company. Um, they're hoping to establish a market here in the States. Um, and when a lot of people hear that, they think that it's coming from, um, you know, like Taiwan or Vietnam or something like that, or China, but it's actually from the UK. And so it's a new company to me. Uh, the company's called Aim Field Sports. And what they sent to me is their tactical drag bag in uh, the length of 45, so I think 45 inches. So let's take a look at this thing. Um, the shipping on this was super, super fast. So they sent it to me at the end of the week uh, last week, and or near the end of the week last week. And it took about five days to get through customs and go through all that rigmarole to get to me. So shipping was really fast. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with DHL. I don't use DHL too often, but uh, they seem to be pretty good. So, boom. So this is it. So there's no flashy packaging. Um, I actually hate it when there's like a whole bunch of thick uh, plastic bags and stuff like that because it's just more stuff for me to throw away. And um, usually when stuff's in like this large size, I can't really reuse the bag for anything practical, so. So it comes with this, which just looks like a product catalog. Um, good paper, but yeah, uh, so let's see, which one did I get? Boom, this is the one I got. So this one, it's the AIM 45, and they had a few different color options. I think they had multi-cam, black, coyote, tan, like this one here, and then olive, which I think is this color. Yeah, so this one's supposed to be for rifles just under 44 inches or 45 inches. And so this one should work really well with my um, my six millimeter Creedmoor, because that one's just right there. And so overall, it looks like the, the quality of construction is really good. And uh, what kind of irks me is when companies use a material that's way, way, way too thick and hard to maneuver. Um, this one seems like it's pliable enough and durable enough where I'm not gonna have too much of an issue. And it's not too noisy either. So yeah, it looks like overall these things are pretty well thought out. They have really large bungee straps for magazines or other gear like your range finders and stuff. Ooh, so that's kind of cool. Um, the straps for the handles don't terminate right here when they meet the bag. Looks like they go all the way through the bag and all the way through into the bottom. So yeah, some elastic pockets there and then an outer pocket here. So I'll, I'll go definitely more into the finer details for the overall and final video. But I just wanted to give you guys sort of a heads up on what I got in the bag, no pun intended. Um, so this is so this is the important part, and a lot of companies kind of fumbled this up, so we'll see. All right, looks pretty good. So uh, one thing that I didn't like about my Eberly stock drag bag when I had it is that the straps to strap in the rifle came from the very ends here, and then obviously would clip in the middle, and they had some uh, little vinyl covers to make sure it didn't mar up your finish on your rifle. Um, the only problem with that is because it was so wide, it gave your rifle a lot of room to move and spin. Uh, and this makes more sense because you can kind of fine tune how wide you want it and the placement. So you can place it so that it clamps from a smaller surface so it goes to just to one point or wider here and then you can move it side to side. So this is a, a lot smarter of a design. And then you have a, a very nice pocket for your buttstock right there. And again, they did that, that thing where they take the webbing and they extend it all the way through to kind of um, even out the load distribution. So overall, this is pretty cool. And they did not skimp out on the cleaning rod holder. 
So we have that, and then this is a really nice cover for your handle, so you're not gonna lose it. So overall, pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna be taking this to uh, my property in the desert, and I'm gonna be shooting the six mil Creed more, getting it all zeroed in, and dialing in some loads. So I'm gonna do a video while I'm doing that. Ooh. I felt something back here. There's something back here. Um, and so you guys should look forward to that here in the next couple of weeks. Um, the wife will be accompanying me because she can't go to work because of the virus. So uh, we'll be having a good time. These are our shoulder straps. All right, that's kind of cool. And then you have like a sort of a waist strap so it doesn't slide about your back too much. Um, but yeah, so that's that's pretty much it uh, for the quick overview and unboxing. And like I said, uh, this will be filmed over the next couple weeks in the desert and elsewhere and get some, get some good range time on it. So look forward to this on the video. And again, I'm gonna have a, a link down in the description for you know where you can find some more information in the meantime. But yeah, as always, take care out there.